In the last video we constructed a class that took a type parameter and now we want to show how you would actually go about potentially using this class. So to do that we'll add an object in here and make it an app. So we'll use the form of extending app and that way we can put inside of here code that uses our class. So for example, maybe we have a count of how many people rode different rides at different times. And because it is a count of values, those would be ints. Maybe we want to have two of those. So our second set of riders. We might also want to keep track of the names of who is working at, you know, at given hours of the day. So new, and since these are names, they will be strings. We'll keep track of two of those. So to interact with this, we can say writers one, sub maybe 12. So at noon, there were five writers. And of course, remember this is actually calling the update method that we wrote in here. We could also say writers one at maybe 8 a.m. equals 10 and writers two at 14, which would be 2 p.m. is eight. We could put in a worker worker one at noon is Kyle. So here you can see how we can assign things. Now by default, remember everything was set up as being none. We have no value stored. It's not just we have no writers, that would be a zero. That would be a sum of zero. We haven't stored anything yet in there when they're set to, to none. We can also demonstrate how we could use that combine method. So we could say our total writers was equal to writers one dot combine to writers two. And then we need to pass in a function. So we have two values and we need to those two values are going to be options. So option A for both of them, in this case, they're both options of int. And it's helpful here to use a match. And what are the cases? Well, we talked about this briefly in the last video. If I have no data for either data set, then I'm going to say I have no data. If the first data set has sum of a value, I'm going to give back that value. Or perhaps the first data set is none, and it's the second data set that is sum. And then I would give back that. In the case where they are both sum, then I would give back the sum, S-U-M, adding the two values together. And then this will have entries for 12, 8, and 14. Since I didn't ever put anything, let's go ahead, we could add into writers 1 sub 14 equals 7. And that should wind up having the combined values. We could test this by doing something like total writers dot values because this is the companion object we can see that private data for each print line and if we run that 
most of the values are still none. We have a 10, we have a 5, and we have a 15. The 10 is it should be at entry 8, the 5 should be at entry 12, and the 15 should be at entry 14, where it added the 2 together. So that looks like the behavior that we were expecting to have. And this shows you how you can declare and use our parametric type here, as well as calling the more complex functionality to combine them.